I, I meet a lot of homeschool families who can feel overwhelmed. They feel exhausted. They feel discouraged, wondering if they're doing the right thing. Am I ruining my kids' education by homeschooling them because I'm not an expert in these areas? Uh, feeling like they're going to have a nervous breakdown. And I, I would say uh, three things. Uh, number one, the best advice anyone ever gave me is, you know, the, the secret to becoming, to being a good parent and, and to raising good kids is be an example of what you want your children to become. A lot of people think, well, it's all about the curriculum. I got to have the right curriculum or this homeschooling thing's not going to work. No, actually you are the, you, the parent are the most important curriculum. I, I would say that. And someone told us that. And at the end of the day, if you can model joy in your home, even when you're frustrated and overwhelmed, if you can model patience and self-control and integrity and faith and, and a hard work ethic, you are building those things into your kids, those most essential qualities you want to see in them. There's no class they're going to take or curriculum you're going to give them that's going to be more important than them just living with somebody who is a living, breathing example of everything you want to see in your kids. So strive to be the kind of person you want them to become. Um, the next best piece of advice someone gave us is stay in relationship with your kids. It's so easy uh, to get into adversarial places with your kids to where you feel like uh, it's, it's, it's me against my three-year-old. Have you ever felt like that? Uh, or it's me against my 17-year-old and they think they've, they've got everything figured out and you know nothing. You know, you, you don't know how to use technology the way that they do and they're so much smarter and so much wiser and it's very easy to get at odds. And you know what? We understand that uh, at some point, the consequences of their poor decisions are all going to come crashing down on them. And when they do, who do we want them to turn to? They want, we want them to turn to us. And so we've got to find a way to stay in relationship with our kids. And for me, that's often just saying, I'm going to take a deep breath, relax, and realize that I can't fix everything that needs to be fixed in my kids right now. Some of these things God's going to, going to fix. He only is the one who can fix them. And I'm just going to continue trying to be an example of what I want to see in my kids. And I'm going to let them know that I love them. I'm here for them. I want to be with them, even when, when we don't always agree on things. Uh, and that there's nothing they could ever do to make me not love them. Uh, and, and then lastly, I would say, teach them the word of God. Uh, you know, you, 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 someone wrote in a question about marriage and, and family. Uh, how do I talk to my kids about marriage between being between a man and a woman? <clears throat> I would say there's a thousand issues that, that our kids need to understand from God's perspective. Those are the ways that lead to blessing. And I would say, don't give up a biblical education. That's the most important thing you could ever give your kids. Uh, and it will lead to healthy marriages, healthy families, and ultimately a healthy nation. So um, be a student of the Bible yourself and then teach them. Um, find ways to teach your kids God's truth on every subject. I think as parents, we assume that kids are gonna just know the right way to do things. You have to teach them first and then train them by teaching them to do it over and over again until they actually get it. Imagine trying to teach your child how to tie his shoes without the practice principle. If the practice principle is vital for teaching such morally neutral task as mm -hmm. tying shoes, how much more important is it for training children in Christ-like character? I speak to parents all the time who come up to me and they see what's happening, but they don't know what to do. And I just want to stand up and say, you can do this. Here is a solution. This is Yvette Hampton, host of the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast. Join us each week for a new episode as we offer encouragement and resources on biblical discipleship from popular speakers and authors, as well as parents just like you and me. Find out more at schoolhouserocked.com or listen anywhere you find your favorite podcast.